Here is a typical artery. An artery is a large, thick-walled, muscular blood vessel distributing blood to an area rather than from it. Uh, an artery, no matter what size it is, will always have a fairly thick, rigid wall. It will have a little squiggly, like we saw in the uh, slide of the aorta, it will have kind of a squiggly internal elastic lamina, like we can see here. See this wavy little light thing? That's an internal elastic lamina. And between the internal elastic lamina and the looser connective tissue of the adventitia is the media. Everything deep or towards the lumen from the internal elastic lamina is the uh, um, intima. And the very most superficial layers of the intima, perhaps here, perhaps here, perhaps here, are the actual endothelial cells. In addition, if it is a very large artery, it may have more than just one band of elastic tissue. It may have other elastic uh, fibers in it, like you see the lighter line here and here. But notice that these uh, elastic fibers do not extend the full thickness of the wall as they do in the aorta and the other uh, uh, classical elastic arteries. So this is just a large or medium-sized artery. It happens to be the superior mesenteric artery. It's one of the main branches of the aorta in the abdomen. You could see that uh, the thick, uh, smooth muscle uh, fibers, or smooth muscle cells and elastic fibers compose uh, the uh, media, and the elastic fibers are more common towards the lumen. Then you have this large, wavy, squiggly elastic fiber called the internal elastic lamina. Everything deep to that towards the lumen is the a connective tissue of the intima. And if you're lucky, and if we looked around, you could see individual endothelial cells lining the lumen. And last but not least, in the loose connective tissue of the adventitia, besides having a classical appearance of loose connective tissue, you can see perhaps some fat, uh, some other blood vessels. And let's see if we're lucky enough to find a nice vasa visorum here. Oh, maybe not, but uh, you can be sure that they're there. This is the classical uh, model for all of the uh, uh, larger arteries. And the uh, I believe the difference between an artery and arterial, although this changes every now and then, is the number of smooth muscle layers. I think an arterial is approximately six layers or less, and everything above that would be called an artery. It's kind of an arbitrary definition and... Um, most pathologists don't really pay too much attention to it. If it has a thick wall, it could be called an artery on one day or an arterial on another day. But uh, remember, if it's an artery, it will certainly have an internal elastic lamina. If it's a large artery, it may have more elastic bundles towards the lumen, or it may not have any more elastic fibers at all. Uh, but the wall will always be chiefly smooth muscle cells. And I thank you very much.